To understand animal welfare issues, you need to first understand animal behaviour. Our course here at Queen's is very much unique in that we focus on both those areas in a lot of detail and the students are exposed to a broad range of topics which allows them to then hone in on what they're really interested in. I had a look around at a lot of the other colleges in Ireland and they just didn't actually have a course like this on offer. Whenever I looked at other courses elsewhere in the UK it didn't even match up at all. I think what's great about the degree overall is that it's extremely diverse. I teach a component which is based around what we call animal homing and navigation, so figuring out how animals find their way up around the planet. So from anything as simple as a snail, right up I guess to the great whales or sharks. Today we're out at a dairy farm at Caffrey Greenmount. It's an example of excellent modern facilities really where the students see the state of the art at present in this industry. One of the key assets of our course is the very close link it has with the Institute for Global Food Security. One of the research goals of the Institute is about making sure that we safeguard farm animal welfare. So it's really important that we take the students to these kind of environments to get them thinking about the future direction of this industry. One of the best aspects of the course I find is the amount of contact you make with your supervisors. The lecturers were very approachable and they made sure that um, we were all very involved in all of the lecture series. So we have an incredible diversity of staff. They've come from everywhere around the world. Some people have come through the ranks here, other people have come across from America, from Austria, from all over, bringing their expertise. We also bring in then a range of external speakers. So we have a number of vets that come in to speak to the students, other people that are experts in companion animal welfare. The students that are attracted to this course are from a range of different backgrounds. We are really interested in students that are keen to take on board what the course has to offer. The international students that come to our course really benefit from the opportunity to get an insight into the fundamentals of animal welfare. They take that knowledge back with them to their communities. Animal welfare in Europe is better than maybe China or other countries. It's interesting and it's fun. The research project is a key aspect of the, of the course. Students undertake projects in a range of topics and actually we try to tailor the project to the students' interests. There's a wide selection of ones that you can choose, but you can also go in with your own projects. My research project was on animal contest behaviour and hermit crabs. My research project is on the lateralisation of basking sharks. I'm going to have a look at the potential effects of light pollution on hermit crab behaviour. When the students complete this course then, they go on to pursue a range of careers. A PhD study is one obvious avenue. Some will go into teaching, for example, but a number of them will go on and work in direct animal welfare organisations. We have a guy that's working in an elephant animal welfare sanctuary in Thailand. I've recently secured a PhD at Dartmouth in America. I'm going to be going over and studying behavioural ecology. I would definitely recommend this course for potential students. In fact, I already have done this week to a friend. The lectures were great, they're very approachable, the course is very interactive and it made like your learning a lot more practical. For the students doing this course, what's great is they leave with multiple doors open to them. Animal behaviour comes into so many different aspects of the planet we live on, but also the food that we eat.